are going to be looking at the solution of June 2021 pure maths with mechanics question number 6. The question reads, two spheres A and B of equal radii and mass is M and 2 M respectively lie at rest on a smooth horizontal table. Sphere A is projected towards sphere B with speed U so that they collide directly. Given that the question of restitution between A and B is one third, find A, the speed of each sphere after impact, 7 max, B, the magnitude of the impulse exerted by A on B, 2 max, and C, the loss of kinetic energy due to the impact. If you want more video solutions of the past week's equations, endeavor to go to Google and you type www.tefafric.com and you create an account and you begin studying on the platform. Endeavor to subscribe to this video, like, share and comment as well. Okay, so let's get the solution of this problem. So the first part says that you have two spheres A and B which have equal radii and their masses are M and 2M respectively who lie on a horizontal table which is smooth and they are at rest. So we begin by saying before impact, that's our horizontal table, we have sphere A and sphere B. The mass of sphere A is M and that of sphere B is 2M. Now they lie at rest so their initial velocities are zero. Now during impact what happens, sphere A is projected towards sphere B with the speed of U so that they collide directly. So still on our, on our smooth horizontal table, we have sphere A which is projected towards sphere B with the speed of U. And both spheres now after impact acquire their final velocities. So the first part of the equation is asking us to find the speed of each sphere after impact and it is allocated for 7 max. So I will still display the diagram. Now there are two important laws that we are going to use. We have, we are going to apply the principle of conservation of linear momentum along the line of centers and we are going to apply Newton's experimental law. Now from the principle of conservation of linear momentum, we have that the sum of momentum before impact equal to the sum of momentum after impact. Now momentum before impact, simply momentum is simply the mass times the velocity. Now before impact, for the momentum of A is just the mass of A times its velocity, same for B, and after impact, the momentum of A is the mass of A times the final velocity of A, and same for B. So with that, the mass of A is M, as given in the equation, and its initial velocity was U. Now the mass of B is 2M, and its initial velocity was 0. The mass of A is still M, and the final velocity is, we, we um, defined it as VA, and the mass of B is 2M, the final velocity is VB. So from there, we can simplify things and we see the m's cancel and from there we can conclude that VA plus 2VB is equal to U, which is our equation 1. Now from Newton's experimental law, we have the coefficient of restitution E to be equal to this expression. So imputing the required um, values of the various constants that we need to find, we get this expression. And remember the coefficient of restitution is E and it was given as one third. So we equate one third to this expression and we get our second equation. Now we have two equations and we need to solve them simultaneously to find the speed of each sphere after impact. So if we take equation 1 minus equation 2, V of A is going to cancel with V of A. This is going to give us 3V of B to be equal to U minus minus U on 3 which is 4U on 3. By so doing, our velocity of B after impact is 4U on 9. If we substitute the velocity of B after impact in equation 2, we are going to get our v of a to be equal to negative u on 3 plus v of b which is equivalent to v of b minus u on 3. So doing that, we have a smiling face, we get our velocities of a and b after impact and we are done with equation a which was allocated for 7 marks. Now equation b is asking us to find the magnitude of the impulse exerted by a on b. So we still have <coughs> our diagram. Now impulse is simply equal to the change in momentum but in this case the impulse is exerted on B so we are simply finding the impulse exerted on B which is the change in the momentum of the sphere B which is simply so its magnitude is simply the magnitude of this which is the initial the magnitude of the difference between the initial and the final momentum of B. Now we saw how to find momentum so we have the mass of B times its initial velocity minus the mass of B times its final velocity. So we have 2 m which is the mass of B, the initial velocity is 0, minus 2 m which is the mass of B, the final velocity as we calculated earlier is 4 u on 9. So by so doing, we have our change, sorry, our change in momentum which is the, the impulse, specifically its magnitude, exerted by A on B to be equal to 8 on 9 m u, assuming that m and u are positive. Now the third part of the equation is asking us to find the loss of kinetic energy due to the impact and it is allocated for 4 max. Simply the loss in kinetic energy is the initial kinetic energy minus the final kinetic energy because it is loss in kinetic energy. Now the kinetic energy initially is simply the kinetic energy of A initially plus the kinetic energy of B initially. Now the kinetic energy of A initially is simply half the mass of A, the initial velocity of A squared and same for B. So we have this and finally we have half mu squared which is the initial kinetic energy. Now the final kinetic energy is the sum of the final kinetic energy of A and that of B which is for A you have the mass half the, the mass of A, the velocity of A squared and same for B. 
Now we had the expressions of their final velocities, which is u on 9 for a and 4 u on 9 for b. So simplifying the final kinetic energy of the system is 11 on 54 mu squared. By so doing, we need to find the loss in kinetic energy, which is recorded as the initial kinetic energy minus the final kinetic energy. So we have this minus this. By so doing, we have our Ke loss to be equal to 8 on 27 mu squared. So that was that for the equation. If you